Hasidic gems. Hasidic gems. Okay, it says in the Torah, Lech lecha me'artzacha. Go you from your land. Hashem is telling Abraham Avinu to, to go, uh, to, 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 to leave where he was, to go to another place. Lech lecha. What does lecha mean? Rashi says lecha means for your sake, for your benefit. It will be better for you if you go. That's, That's the simple. The Hasidic should turtle say, there's a lesson here for life. You know, go away from only be interested in yourself. You're, you're, you're in, you're, you know, I'm, 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 I'm so into myself, I can't serve Hashem, I can't help somebody, I can't, I, I can't do anything. Go away, lech lecha, go away from yourself. And then you'll be able to be a better, a better Jew. Okay, we're going to continue further on. This is a real classic. That was a classic. Okay, we'll skip around a little bit. Okay, so it says Avraham Avinu went, and um, he took with him um, uh, Lot, Ben Ochiv, Lot, who was the son of his brother. Um, of, of Avraham Avinu's brother. That's the simple. According to the Chassidim Shetaralach, Lot, Lot means the Eight Sahara. Lot means the Eight Sahara. Okay? And then it says, the eight, Lot was the son of his brother, which means his close relative. So the Chassidim Shetaralach, Harav HaKodesh, Rebeli Melech Milazensk says, a person has the ability to overturn his Yetzirah, his Lot, and become his friend. He can make peace with his Yetzirah, and the Yetzirah will be his friend, and will be able to serve Hashem with Mishnei Yetzirah, with two, with two, with the Yetzirah and the Yetzirah. What does that mean? The Yetzirah, of course, so we know we could, uh, we know we can, uh, Serve Hashem. How do you serve Hashem with the Eight Zahara? And uh, we just gave a little example that uh, that if somebody is, has has murder within him, he wants to he, he likes he likes the spilling of blood. He should well, come and shach it. Do something holy. Do something holy with it. Okay. So in other words, a person can um, um, a person can overmake his Eight Zahara. And, and to become to become uh, to become his best friend, and to do things to serve Hashem, even with his yitzah hara, which has now become a friend of his. Okay, this is a new one that we didn't say yet. Okay, so it says that uh, Yaakov uh, Abraham Avinu took um, uh, his his load, load, and he took uh, everybody with him. Ves hanefesh asher osu b'choron. He took the soul that he made in Choran. So Rashi says that means, what does that mean? This is the soul that he made. It means that, um, it means that he, um, he, he converted all the people to be followers and believers of Hashem. These are the souls that, that they made, that Avraham Avinu made and Sora made, Sora made the women, and Avraham Avinu made the men. The, that's, that's the simple. The Chassim Shetarlach, Harav HaKodesh Menachem Mendel Mikotsk, says that as a nefesh asher also, period. What was the main chinuch that Avraham Avinu taught? What is the main training that you got to do? Asher also, as a nefesh asher also. The nefesh, the the, 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 the the people that, that Avram Avinu converted, the people that followed Avram Avinu, uh, Asher Osu, uh, this this is what, what Avram Avinu's main teaching was. You gotta do. You gotta do mitzvahs, and you gotta serve Hashem, and you gotta do. You can't just sit back. <laughs> okay, let's see a few more. Okay. 
So then the Torah con- continues. Oh, one of the pl- uh, a place mentioned in the Torah is where they were. One of the places when the kings were fighting, it, it says they came to Ein Mishpat Hukodesh. The name of the place. What is translation? Ein Mishpat means a uh, well of justice, which is now called Ein Mishpat Hukodesh. Hukodesh. That um, um, uh, now it's called Kodosh. Ein Mishpat Hu. Is that word? Kodosh. Is that right? Am I saying it correct? Ein Mishpat. You have it? Pasuk Zayin. Yud Dalad Zayin. Uh, 14. Okay. Ein Mishpat, uh, Ein Mishpat, He Kadesh. He Kadesh. Ein Mishpat, He Kadesh. So th- that's the simple, it's the name of the place. That's, that's the simple. The Hasidic Torah are telling us, you think Ein means well? Well of justice, ain't ain mishpat. Ain means an eye. The eye, the one who watches his eyes, that it shouldn't stumble, it shouldn't look where it shouldn't be looking, it shouldn't look at women. Um, uh, if he's if his ain mishpat, if his eye is is doing justice, doing the right thing, he kodesh. He's Kodesh. That person is holy. Okay. So then it says in the Pasik, Vayikhu es loit ves rechushay. Ben achi avrom. Where's the Pasik? Yud Dalit. Yud. 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 No. Yud. Yud Beis. Hold on one second. Have it open before. 117. 117? Oh. Oh. It says that um, the king of Sodom ran away and um, um, uh, they captured all, all uh, Lot and his uh, Rechush, and uh, it says in the Pasuk, they took Lot and his, his, his goods, the son of the brother of Avram, Ben Achi Avram. And the question is, Gewalt, uh, what does that have to, what does it have to keep repeating itself? They took Lot and his fortune, he was the son of, uh, of the brother of Avram. Well, why is that necessary to say again and again and to say here in this Pasuk? Or Rabbi Kodesh Reb Moshe Yechil Me'ozhorov says that it says in the Pasuk, Es Ves Rechushai, in his fortune, his, uh, the son of the brother of Avram, to tell us what the real fortune of a person is. What is the greatest Rechush that he could have? The greatest rechush that that um, that Lot had was the fact that he was the son of the brother of Avram. That was his greatest. He had millions of dollars, let's say. No, but his main true uh, fortune that he had was that he had such an uncle like Avram Avinu. To be close to Bnei Torah, to be that's the greatest, the greatest. A fortune that a person could have. Okay. Let's see more. Oh. Then it says like this: The Rebbeinu Shlom took Avraham Avinu out, and he said he's gonna. He, the Rebbeinu Shlom says, "I'm gonna bless you with. Uh, you're gonna have children. That uh, you look at the you know, look at the uh, sky and look at all the stars and count them if you can." So ko yiyez arecha. So will be your 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 children. So many children you will have. That's, a That's the That's simple. A the Hasidic Eternal are telling us like this: ko yiyez arecha, that your children 
will have the ability to decree something and Hashem will listen to their decree. That ko yiyya, if, if Zaracho, if your children say ko yiyya, so it should be, that, that's, that's what's going to happen. They'll have the ability to tzadik goizer v'akodesh baruch m'kayim. That the tzadik should decree and a kodesh baruch will fulfill. <laughs> okay, let's see, just one or two more. Uh, there's more, there's more. The Rebbe Nishlam said, we say this in Haggadah Shal Pesach, that there'll be a nation that will judge you, and then, Afterwards, you're going to go out with great riches. Which means, uh, after this, what does Cain mean? This, after this, they'll go out with a great fortune. That's the simple. The Hasidic of Terevach translate Cain to me, yes, Cain. After you say yes, and after you um, accept upon yourself and, and justify the difficulties that you might have, and you see your Mazdik is Hadin, you justify the judgment of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Once, once you do that, you know, sometimes a person is going through so many difficult things and it's hard for him to take everything, but nevertheless he acknowledges and he justifies uh, his matzdik as hadin. If you say that, then you will go out with a chosh Hashem will, will bless you with everything good. With everything good. Okay, one more thing. Hagar, Hagar was running away from uh, Sarah, and the Malach, the angel, met Hagar, and um, the angel said that Hagar should return back to Sarah. Shuvi el go back to to uh, uh, go back to Sarah, and Mir um, uh, when you go back, when you go back to Sarah. They, you will be pregnant, become pregnant, and have a child. That's what it says in the Torah. And Rashi says, Keshet Toshuvi, Rashi says, Keshet Toshuvi Tari. When you return, you will, you will become pregnant. That's the simple, the Chasivah Shetera is saying, Keshet Toshuvi Tari, those words of Rashi. You think Keshet Toshuvi means when you return? It means when you do tshuva. Keshet toshuvi, when you do tshuva and cleanse yourself from sins, tari, you will become pregnant. Shabbat <laughs>